Hey guys, I want to talk to you real quick about knowing God. I believe that this is really important because a lot of people have a misconception about who God really is. People have told them things about God, they've seen things in the earth and they just assume that it's God and all those assumptions and everything we think we know about God would just dissolve if we actually knew Him. If we knew who He was, if we knew Him by His word, His character, His attributes, if we get to know God then all these lies about Him, they disappear and they dissolve and we can really begin to see God move in our lives. I want to challenge you this week to just don't think about God, but go the extra mile and get to know God. Let's look at some scriptures. Psalms 46.10 says this, to be still and know that I am God. It seems like there's so much busyness around us. We're in this big room today and on Sundays and Wednesdays, this room is full of people. And when this room is full of people, it's just busy. It's, there's a lot of stuff going on. And even when there's a lot of people around, it's hard to get to know each person individually. And sometimes that's the way our lives are. They're so busy and so full of all this stuff. They're full of people and full of work and full of school and full of extracurricular activities, sports and TV and Xbox and family and friends. And there's so much stuff in our lives and it's so busy. We don't actually take the time that we need to, to get to know God. This is why the scriptures tell us to be still. Just get rid of everything. Get in that intimate place in your prayer room. Sit down on your couch with your Bible and begin to get to know who God is. The reason why this is important is because when we know God, we know his character, we know his attributes, we won't be tossed to and fro. Listen to Ephesians 4.14. It says, then you'll no longer be immature like children. We won't be tossed and blown about by every wind of new teaching. We'll not be influenced when people try to trick us with lies so clever, so clever they sound like truth. Listen, people all the time are trying to lie to you about who God really is. You see something bad happen in the world and they say that's God. Something bad happens in someone's life. Man, this is so true. When something bad happens in someone's life, they never want to blame themselves. So what do they do? They roll it up on the deity. They said this happened because of God. It's just easier to deal with life situations when we're not the ones that are accountable. So we always say God is in control. We always say this is his fault. Whether it's good or bad, we always roll it up on the God. But not everything that happens is a trait or a characteristic or an attribute of God. We live in a fallen world where bad things happen because the devil's in control of this world. But the good news is, is if you get to know God, the devil doesn't have to be in control of your life. And you'll no longer believe these lies that people have made sound like truth, but instead you'll know him and he will know you. Listen, God wants you to know him as intimately as he knows you. This takes time. You have to make up your mind that you're going to cut some of the busyness out, that you're going to be still and know that He is God. We do this by reading the Word, by spending time in prayer. I encourage you, just like the books of Romans says, it says, let us lay aside every weight, or Hebrews, excuse me, every weight, every sin, every distraction. Why is it telling us to do that? Because you've got to let go of some things so you could know God. I'm telling you the truth. There's a time that is coming that we're going to have to know God in a very intimate, intimate way and you need to know him for yourself. My revelation of God is for me and God wants to reveal himself to you. Let him do that, spend some time with him. I pray that you take the next week, you take time to get to know him, you begin to cut some of the busyness out of your life, you just get still and spend some time with your creator. The desire to know him is inside of every single one of us. That's not the question. The question is, will you respond to that desire and do what is necessary to get to know God? We love you so much. I know you're gonna have a great week and we'll see you next time for another Ablaze YouTube devotion.